Hey guys, welcome to Web for Tech. Today's video is on the Oxygen OS 4.1.5. So it got a nice, recently OnePlus released a stable version for the OnePlus 3 and the 3T devices. The updates began to roll today. So if you're in a certain region, you're already getting the update over the air. Let's go ahead and show you how you can get the update fast and right on the device. So there's two methods you could do and I'll be showing you both methods. So first method is going to the Play Store and getting the Opera VPN on the phone. So all you gotta do is search for Opera VPN, install it, and then once it's installed, you're just gonna go ahead and open it. So let me come back to this really quick and then just show you that I'm going from stable version 4.1.3. So I'm going from 4.1.3 to Oxygen OS 4.1.5. There's no system updates right now. See, it's not forced on my phone since I'm in the US. Uh, they're releasing it to other countries first. So I'm gonna show you how you could get the forced update. All we're gonna go ahead and do is connect to the VPN click connect and let it select the server so it's selected and make sure you're connected to Canada because Canada is getting the update first so just make sure the region for the VPN is connected to Canada let's go to the system updates now and then find the update so we're gonna go to system updates and it's gonna check for updates so there you go it pulled up the OT over the air update for the 4.1.5 by just connecting to VPN we're gonna click reboot to upgrade. So it finished download, and then all I have to do is click reboot. For yours, it's gonna say download the update, then reboot, because mine already downloaded. So I'm gonna click reboot to upgrade now, and then I'm gonna click that. And then it's gonna start doing the update to 4.1.5. Don't touch anything, the phone will start itself and continue the process. So the update finished and the phone rebooted successfully and it's kind of still saying finishing Android update so we're just going to go really quick and take a look if it got updated properly, uh, status bar. So I'm going to go to the system updates, it's up to date, click about phone and there you go Oxygen OS 4.1.5. So let's do a quick rundown on what the fixes were. Uh, one important thing they added for this phone is um, system updates. Uh, so what system update notifications so OnePlus could go ahead and release announcements for the phone or like anything they want to give information to the public that owns these devices they, they could release a system notification on it. Uh, minor changes include uh, such as like fix of uh, networks and Bluetooth issues so they, ca they kept on going and polishing them up from the betas and added this to the Oxygen OS 4.5 so let's take a look at the networks and then sim network so I'm gonna see so they fixed some issues with the LTE that's what they mentioned in the chain logs uh, one my, a major thing I felt like this update uh, brought was the battery so a lot of people were complaining in the forums about the battery draining fast and not holding up to in oxygen OS 4.1.3 so I uh, read the chain logs and battery was something they fixed and optimized so I'm gonna be testing that out in the couple days and seeing how it's working um, lastly, they added like uh, latest security patches and uh, did some um, fixes to their OnePlus community app, which is right here. So their community app got updated. And then um, other than that, it's only minor fixes and bug fixes. This update is not meant to be doing a big change for the phone. It's just those tweaks, optimization, and little bugs. Uh, lastly, that I did notice in the log was the camera low light focus. So that thing got fixed. When you open up the camera, the low light has been fixed at night, especially. So when you take the pictures, the low light will be a little bit better. So that's improved in the software side of the camera. I'll be testing that out also in the feature and then so showing you a video on the update of the battery and the camera. So that's it for the update. And one more thing is if you really want to get the update, you could also get it through TWRP by installing the full uh, version of the operating system. I'll be posting the links in the description. So check it out and please go ahead and like us, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day. Bye bye.